my channel i hope you're having a wonderful day so i've had a pretty productive morning it's currently now 10 57 oh that's gone really quick actually but yeah i've um, been doing lots of paperwork replying to emails i've done some cleaning and yeah i've just had like a busy day of just organizing things so i've just now had a shower and washed my hair at the moment i'm just using this a grown alchemist like deep cleansing facial mask i've got to leave it on for like another 10 minutes it's like 10 to 15 minutes it smells absolutely gorgeous i actually received this like in a gifted like fab fit fun box which i'll show you later on today i also received this in there which is a apto skincare face mist and this is like turmeric and i think that's meant to be good for like even and out skin tone also with like spots and stuff so i'm going to spray that on after um i've applied this which is a 111 skin it's a Harley Street London Hydronic like Acid Aqua Booster. I don't know if I've said that right. The only thing about this is I don't think it smells good at all. Okay, my face mask is drying up and it's really itching my nose. Okay, so I've just put like a hair treatment in my hair. I don't know if I've mentioned that already. And um, I'm just going to leave that in until I wash my hair next, which you can do. Or you can wash it out straight away. But it's the Living Proof Restore Repair Leave-In like Hair Like Cream. It smells absolutely gorgeous. I've been using that since I received it in my um, Living Proof Glossy Box like a couple of months ago. And my hair has just felt so good. And like I've realised now that I can actually leave my hair like to air dry once I've put that in. And it doesn't go as like frizzy which is really nice. I'm now going to go and put on some of that like 111 skin or 111 like skin by Harley Street London. Like I said it doesn't smell very like nice but you know hopefully it'll do its job. I don't really know where to put this but I'm just going to kind of put it like all over my face. Oh that smells so gross. Okay, now the last thing I'm going to put on is that Apto, I think I'm saying that right, um, skincare face mist, face mist, face mist. Okay, I'm going to take it out of this and show you the rest of the stuff I actually got in the box. And also, I'm guessing you guys probably want to go and see the pug puppies too. What are you doing? You've been super lazy. Oh, look, they're all in their own little spots. So there's little Molly. Oh, Miles. Oh, my Miles. I know you can hear me. I can see your tail wagging. Hello, my Miles. You having a little nap? Got little Mario hair, which this is meant to be Rosie's bed because Rose can't jump up onto the seat. But Mario has seemed to claim it. Got Rosie. She's looking for a toy or something to probably try and shove in my face. Gracie? Oi. Oh, she just now trumped. Gracie, that stinks. Okay, I'm going to take you in here because I'm going to show you the box that I received. So, it's by a company called Fab Fit Fun. And it's a company where every month they do like a selection of goodies in like a box. So, I'm going to add these ones back in because this is what... I also got in this box and then each month you can customize it so you can pay a little bit more to get better things in it um but this was like their standard box of all their standard kind of goodies so i've got like a box of two of them like face mists i got that serum i got some cur eyelash curling eyelash lash curlers some face mask which i used earlier a moroccan kind of like argan oil like and hemp oil therapy for your hair a massager like full body massager a hibiscus like a body plant-based body scrub 
and then also this bag which normally retails about 36 pounds and it's like a really nice beach bag and it comes in this really nice like pretty box as well but yeah that's what i received in my in my box that was kindly gifted by fabfitfun so thank you for that let's go and see the puppies because they are being super naughty at the moment we have to keep putting these barriers up because they keep jumping over things they're so naughty <gasps> here's milo hello milo oh here we go tried to jump up on me hello milo look at his little tail hello darling should we get over here in the lights so they can see you properly oh you seem to eat all your dinner we have to lock grace out because she eats all their dinner come on milo come over here so we can see your beautiful face here comes pepsi <laughs> oh, you need to keep still if not we can't see you properly pepsi hello darling oh look how beautiful she is she's got one green eye and then she's also got one blue eye so having two different colored eyes is quite rare but especially to have a um green eye i don't think i've ever seen like a puppy a pug puppy with um a green eye little rollo oh he's really sleepy look at him oh i just absolutely love him he's so gorgeous rollo he's got two green eyes and then look at this little naughty monster hello ted teddy hello darling oh look guys look he's walking i'm not going to tell you much about what's been going on with him because i'm going to be doing a vlog about that soon but look he's actually standing up and walking so that's like really good because it was only about like I don't know a week ago or something that he wasn't even like getting onto his back legs on his own and now he's literally getting up on his back legs and actually walking on his own i've actually been trying to eat like a little bit healthy and i'm just going to show you something that i've been absolutely loving at the moment so super cheap and so easy and quick to make and basically look at this it's um cucumber like cherry or plum tomatoes some mixed salad leaf in there red onion sweet corn a bit of beetroot and um some tuna i did start off having this with just like cucumber and tomatoes with like salt pepper and chili flakes on and it was really really nice give it a go it's really nice like little snack now, normally when i'm hungry and want a snack i end up like grabbing a chocolate bar but literally i just have a load of cucumber and tomatoes chopped up with salt pepper and chili flakes and it's absolutely amazing and it's super cheap like i said and really quick to make i think i'm gonna now head upstairs and just put a little bit of makeup on then i'm gonna head out to poundland if you guys want to come with me okay so i'm now ready i've just done like a really simple like easy quick makeup actually came out all right it looks quite glowy um but yeah so i'm now gonna go and head to poundland because there's a few like things that i need to get and then i also might pop to iceland and aldi or lidl on the way home i'm not sure yet um yeah so i need to get going because i feel like i'm running late again i'm always running late and I also i feel like the last couple of videos i've done have all been like poundland themed i haven't done anything like poundland themed videos or haul videos for so long and now all of a sudden i've done like a huge like bundle of them so i'm hoping you can enjoy it i'm gonna try and vlog like when i go around poundland um but i'm not like um that confident yet of like going around and actually like talking about things i've done it a few times and then i just didn't like it um so i stopped vlogging i just find that um other youtubers i watch they seem to go shopping and have like friends with them and stuff they're also youtubers so you kind of can do it together but when you're on your own especially in norwich i always find that in norwich everyone always seems to really look at you when you do it in london and things like that no one really looks um so yeah but uh yeah um wish me luck i'm gonna try and get some footage of like new things that's in poundland and just show you all like the good bits that i think are like really cool
so I'm now at Lidl's. I'm just going to go in and pop in to get some more frozen fruit. I just went into Iceland and grabbed some, but they didn't have like a selection of like little fruit because I, in the mornings, I want to start having like porridge with like frozen fruit on top. I think it, my sister always does it, Georgie, and it always looks amazing. And I've always had it around hers for breakfast when I go and stay. And it's really nice and it fills you really up because normally I don't really like lunch. So I'm thinking having something like that because normally I just have like corn flakes kind of thing like bran flakes with bits of like fruit and chocolate in um but i want something a little bit more filling so i'm gonna have that with some frozen fruit on so i'm gonna pop into aldi hopefully they'll have some more types of like frozen fruit in there they also have like a um like pet range going on at the moment so i might go and check that out as well see if there's anything like the pugs or the puppies might want molly needs one of these because she's always like gobbling down her food it's quite good as well it's only 4.99 they also have these like dog chews and they're only 1.99 each and then they also have a selection of harnesses for only 3.99 and a special by pet carrier for 19.99 which is quite good if you've just got one dog it would be good for me with the four dogs They've even got tennis balls for bigger dogs and then for smaller dogs. I'm going to get some of these for the pugs. Literally the pugs have gone mad since I've just now got home. I don't know if you can hear but the puppies have heard me come in. And it's probably Milo. I bet you it's Milo. Let's have a look. Yes, it is. It's Milo. <laughs> He's so needy. Hello. Hello, Rolo. Little Pepsi. Teddy. Oh, I'll come in in a minute. I'm just going to show everyone what I bought. And then I'll come in and give you cuddles, yeah? I can't let you out. You keep pooing everywhere. So I'm now going to show you everything that I got in Poundland. I think I spent like £17. So there's a few things that you probably don't want to see. But um, yeah, I grabbed a couple of cans of fe feisty or festy cherry. What do you call this? Sorry, I have to keep an eye on Grace because I just gave the pugs, puppies, some food and she keeps trying to eat it. And it's got a hint of chilli. I didn't know it had chilli in it as well, but there we go. I also picked up some of these and I've never seen them before. So you get five in a pack. They're black currant and apple pulsing fruity oat bars um they were actually really nice these are gluten-free dairy-free soya free and also vegan and yeah they were actually really really nice the pug puppies are currently biting my feet lucky i've got my shoes on okay i'm now going to show you these so i can give them to the pugs so they'll stop like trying to eat the puppy's food but i picked up some of these calcium bone like um snacks and they have like dried chicken on the outside these keep them busy for a good five minutes, but um, five minutes of peace is good enough for me. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is some fruit, nuts and cranberries. These are so mega cheap. They do have bigger packs um, for £2. This pack was a pound. They also got Janelli Broke, which it hasn't, thank goodness. They do like really good like dog bowls in there at the moment, so I need the extra one to put um, the puppies water in because now they're not weaning as much and they haven't watered down their food as much. Um, they need some water so I got this bar. They also had grey ones which I think I showed you in like the montage and it was like grey with a paw print. Um, but yeah these are really good for a pound. I would probably say with my pugs they're quite clumsy so I probably would go for like a metal bowl. Um, but for now this will be quite good for like the pug puppy so I got that. I also picked up some more dog toys from there because you can never not have enough dog toys, especially when you've got a pug like Grace because she just rips them to pieces. They've got so many cute ones at the moment. I don't know if you saw it in some of my videos, but there's an avocado, a pizza and a burger, which they've all got. And then I just thought I'd add to the collection. It's a piece of broccoli and a carrot. And yeah, these are any pound. They also have a squeaker in. They haven't been ripped open yet. 
but oh, oh my goodness grace just saw it i'm gonna have to take the tag off so she can play with it if not she's gonna keep hounding me for it here you go grace some new toys for you Oh, Mario's hogged the broccoli already. I also picked up some lunch boxes. These are really cheap. I love these because they go quite small, but they're still like big, if that makes sense. They're like rectangle ones and you get three in a pack, but you can kind of see what the sizes are and that's how deep they are. They're just handy for like little bits of food. Sometimes lunch boxes are either way too tiny or way too big. So I picked up some of them really exciting isn't it and then i also this is even more exciting but oh my goodness these are so good um it's a spontex i think i'm saying that brilliant scour and this is like a non-scratch one it also said it's recommended by tfal honestly these are brilliant and they last ages as well absolutely love them okay moving on to the last couple of things if you see these in your poundland and you drive well you don't actually need these if you've got a car or like a van or whatever you could put these in like your wardrobe and that these the FRSH scents um, are brilliant and they smell so strong. Mario's getting a bit protective over his bit of broccoli. Um, I've got, I don't know what one I bought recently. It was like a green one. It smelled gorgeous. It's now running out a bit because we've had like all the hot weather. This one's Coconut Crush. Can't wait to put that in my car. Smells so good. And also I find that when it gets hot in your car, the block inside doesn't melt because sometimes they leak out where they've got like the air vents in and then it gets everywhere. But these haven't done that yet. Okay, the last two things I'm going to show you, which to be honest, I don't think I really need because um, I've got loads of these and I say this every time. But I thought I had to give these a go. It's um, by Derma V10. These are apparently new. It's a two-step lip kit for a smoother looking pout. So you have like a sugar scrub and then also a like lip mask. So this is the coconut one. And then they also done like a raspberry one. And um, I just thought I'd give these a go for a pound. Because I think some of these lip masks, especially by the brand OK, are really expensive. Um, I think they're like 6 99 Now I'm going to go and edit a video that I recorded um, a couple of days ago. And then I'm going to have to like get dinner ready later on. Because I think it's getting a bit late now. It's now 2.30. So oh, it's time to feed the actual adult pugs in about half an hour they usually get fed at like three o'clock so this is a bit unexpected i've been invited out for a chinese um somebody's treating me to chinese tonight so we're gonna head out to chinese or you can eat in norwich and oh my goodness the chinese food in there is absolutely wonderful I'm super super excited because I haven't had chinese for ages and chinese is one of my favorite foods so i can't wait they also have like um uh, ice cream like whippy machine which i absolutely love but yes yeah, so all you can eat as well so uh, i might end up regretting going there because i normally do i normally end up leaving and saying i'm never going there again because i just literally just stuff my face way too much um but i always end up going back but i'm gonna try and pace myself i'm gonna have like little plates of like little odd bits and just pace myself and not eat too much because i find you end up eating loads i don't know but you comment down below but when you go to chinese all you can eat or like all you can eat buffets you end up just like stuffing your face and then you end up leaving and just feeling sick and feel like you don't go so i feel like it's best just to have not as much food and then enjoy it more so yeah i'm then gonna head to chinese all you can eat i can't wait I'm so excited because i'm so hungry I'm to chinese all you can eat so um thank you indian. a lot of indian food is vegetarian is it yes <laughs> currently the next day and i forgot to do my outro yesterday um so i thought i'd do it this morning though i hope you did enjoy this vlog please comment down below if there's anything else like 
you'd like me to like include in my vlogs if there's stuff that I haven't included that you'd like to see um, or is there any way I can improve my vlogs um, and comment down below if you did like this kind of style vlog that I done but anyway I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video love you bye